Hello guys, in this tutorial I will talk about how to download the Eclipse and how to set up the Eclipse in your system. So before that we need to understand why Eclipse is required. Eclipse is required to write a Java code. Eclipse will work as an editor. So that will provide you facility where you can write your Java code and also Eclipse has lot of auto completion so basically it will help you to write your java code in easy way right and it will act as a editor so every programming language we need to have the editor in that editor we can write the corresponding code so to download the eclipse just we will type let me type eclipse download then we'll go to the site eclipse download site and here the latest version what we have is java eclipse oxygen for 64 bits right so we will click on that so based on your os automatically this eclipse will get detected and then we'll click on the download so when we click on the download it will take some time to download say exe file it will take some download you can see that it's uh, 46 mb file so it will take a couple of minutes to download this file. Okay, say so it's got downloaded now. Right click, so in folder. Now, what we will do is we'll do a double click. Or right click, run as administrator. So this Eclipse launcher has come up. And then it will ask you to select which JDK you want. Okay, so I'll go for this is Eclipse ID for Java E developer. And this is for Java ID for Java developers, right? So the essential tool for any Java developer including ID JIT client, XML, editor, Maven, Gradle integrations and everything we have. Here we have web applications including a Java ID, tool for JE, JPA, Git, other. So we will go for this Java developer. And you can see that C drive, users, folders, this will get down installed. So I will click on install. I will click on accept now. And this installation will take some time. So before that make sure that you have JDK installed in your system. Accept.
this installation it will take some time so it says that installation is completed successfully and then click on launch so we can see that eclipse editor has come up okay so i'll close this and i will show you from the beginning from where this eclipse will be installed and all that so on the ui if you look at on your desktop one icon will get created eclipse java oxygen so when you double click on this so when we double click this editor will come up and by default it will take work locations in your user folder okay here we can either change the workspace or we can select some other folder in your physical systems now click on launch so when we click on launch editor will come up this launch will take some time first time it will take a time next time onwards it will not take this much time it's not a bit okay so when we launch a clip first time you can see that this interface right it will be like this uh, overview tutorial create a new project check out project from git import existing project and all that so just click on workbench here when we click on the workbench this java editor will come up so this side if you look at the package explorer here uh, we will be creating all the java project and your project will displayed here the middle part here we will have all the class code so whatever java code we will write it will display here and the right hand side we will have lot more things which we will see going forward in the down you can see that the console in the bottom this is the console description resource path and all that right so that's how we should configure the eclipse and let me show you by creating one java project here so just go to the right right click on this empty area go to the new click on java project and once we click on the java project here we can give first java project and click on finish so when we click on finish we can see that see java project got created and you can see that it has src folder and jre system library okay java runtime system library now right click on the project when you right click on the project go to the properties of the project and go to the java build path right click properties of the project then go to the java build path here you can see that in this library you have you can see that here jdk is already attached so the moment you create the project you can see that c program file java jdk 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 jre library jdk jre library jdk so all library whatever library is required to code your jdk will get associated with your project okay and internally jdk has the jre so that's how we create a java project thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you'll be able to set up eclipse in your physical systems and be, you'll be able to create your first java project thank you